four of these people have already been called up or on active search uh, duty in the army. For the last few days, Avram Sharak has been checking in on his family in Israel. It's been sleepless nights and restless days. Been getting news no one should get. Uh, thank God my 25 immediate relatives are alive and safe. But not a lot of, some of their friends are not. More than 1,800 lives have been lost since Hamas opened fire at the Supernova Music Festival Saturday morning, roughly five kilometers from the Gaza Strip in southern Israel launching the Middle East into war for the last four days. Chirac's nephew was set to perform at the festival. He turned around when he heard missiles. So this morning I finally got the guts to ask him. Um, my exact question was, I'm afraid to ask you, but how many have you lost so far? And he said, 50 so far, and they haven't finished counting. Uh, 50 of his friends. Hamas has fired barrages of rockets. Hostages have been taken on both sides, and Israel warplanes are pounding the Gaza Strip in retaliation. You've got a spot here. I'll, I'm going to turn this around a little bit so you can see. Former Winnipegger Jenny Minash is in northern Israel, sorting supplies for soldiers. While reassuring family back home in Canada, they are safe for now. I keep saying physically, we're okay. As in, we're still alive. Nobody's missing a leg. Nobody's been shot. Um, but emotionally, this is shock. We're all kind of just functioning in shock, and everybody's doing what they can. Like many, her son is being called to fight. He'll be back Thursday morning from the U.S., and he's going straight to the Army. And I have a daughter who's in the Army. And then I have two younger ones who, like I said, they went to the supermarket and helped stock shelves. Phil Reese, who lived near New York during 9-11, says people are in shock. And the feeling is, is in many ways uh, uh, reminiscent of what, what it was like uh, on and, and just after September 11th. Uh, it's surreal. People can't understand, can't believe uh, uh, what, what's just happened. He attended the funeral for his neighbor's 21-year-old son tonight, the second victim close to the family. His son's classmate also lost an older brother. He was shot. He took two balls to the head and kept on fighting. Uh, but eventually was, uh, was was shot again and, and killed. I mean, everyone, everyone is, uh, is affected. Phone calls and tragedies Reese and Chirac wish they didn't have to share. Brittany Greenslade, CBC News, Winnipeg.